The trust will protect assets from creditors and predators. And, and I know we all like to think that perhaps the government is a predator. It's actually a creditor. Medicaid just keeps a running total on every dollar they spend on your child. And when your child passes away, your child's estate is going to get a bill. And sometimes these things are terribly thick. I mean, they, they actually have it detailed down to what the service was and what the date of service was. They get very detailed. That they can keep track of. You call them about, you know, the paperwork you sent last week, you know, they never got it. But they can keep track of how much they spent on your child. By being able to take advantage of uh, all government benefits, we can extend the life of assets. You know, if we're not having to pay for housing entirely, we have SSI. If we're not having to provide all the medical needs, then the money that's in the trust isn't being depleted as quickly. So we can extend those li the, the life of those assets. Using a special needs trust hopefully avoids many of the costly mistakes people make when planning for their child with special needs. This is the one I hear of the most. This is the old way of planning. This used to be, prior to the 80s, the only option. Disinherit the child. Don't leave any assets to the child. Will that keep them eligible for government benefits? Yep. Is it really what you want to do? Probably not. This goes along with number one. What I've heard other attorneys say is leave, you know, let's say Johnny has a special need, Sally's his sister. Leave everything to Sally and Sally will use that money to take care of Johnny. Sounds good. Doesn't work.